Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving 25x equal to 5 power x minus 1. While solving this problem, we will see exponent, exponent properties, algebraic manipulation and then we will see the graph of function. So let's get started by writing the exponent first property which is x raised to the power a minus b can be written as x power a over x power b. So right hand side I will write as 5 power x over 5. Left hand side is 25 x. Now let us take the denominator 5 towards left. So equation will be 125 x equal to 5 power x. Alright. Now let's take 5 power x in the denominator. So I will divide both sides by 5 power x. So let me divide. Now we know that 5 power x is always greater than 0. It cannot be equal to 0. So we can divide. Now I will write 125 x over 5 power x equal to 1. Now 1 over a raised to the power x equal to a power negative x. I will take this 5 power x in the numerator. So 125 x times 5 power negative x equal to 1. Now let us write all the terms, constant terms to the right and variable to the left. So equation will be x times 5 power minus x equal to 1 over 125. Now change of base formula will come. How? Oh, 5 raised to the power minus x can be written as 5 can be written as e raised to the power ln 5. Now minus x. So I will write directly here minus x. Okay, earlier it was e raised to the power ln 5. This is 5 whole power minus x. Is it? So once you will take the product of the exponent, it will come out this one by a power b whole power c. That is equal to a power b c. So I will write this term as e raised to the power minus x ln 5. This part is done. x equal to 1 over 125. Now we have to observe which term is missing. Which term is missing. Let me write here x times e raised to the power minus x ln 5 equal to 1 over 125. Now you can see easily my target is, is straight away clear e raised to the power x x times e raised to the power x if it is equal to k I will go for lemma w I will write our left hand side as your exponent and its coefficient both are same then left side would be x, right side would be lambda w of k. Straight away, this is my prime objective. Okay. So what is missing? If I will notice our exponent, so that is minus x ln 5. So I will try to equate that value. We required minus ln 5 here. So what I am going to do, I will multiply both sides by minus ln 5. See it power was minus x ln 5. x was available. Only minus ln 5 was missing. So I multiplied both sides by minus ln 5. Now we can check how our equation will form. Let me write equation will be minus x ln 5 times e raised to the power minus x ln 5 equal to 1 over 125. Okay. 
now we can easily see our exponent and this term is same now it is matching with lambda w so what i will do i will write left hand side as minus x ln 5 that would be equal to lambda w of 1 over 125 and see what was missing that is minus ln 5 so that will be minus ln 5 done now x is required so i will write x would be equal to minus lambda w minus ln 5 over 125 divided by ln 5 Is that okay? Minus w minus ln 5 over 125 over ln w. Now, if we will solve using graphs using Wolfram alpha and Desmos also, we'll cross check it. Then our answer will this value will come out. X is equal to 0.0081, 06 and 4. So that value will come. Okay, now let's check its graph. See, left hand side is Wolfram alpha, and right hand side is Desmos. Now you can check. Let's begin with the Wolfram alpha. If you will see, this is our log means here it is natural log, so it is matching actually. Now see the value. That value is also matching. if you will transform this on a number line it will also same and if you will observe the form will will change the base we, we can change the numbers so we can get the different forms in terms of log itself if you will check desmos then that graph is showing see i have plotted 25x minus 5 par x minus 1 and see right hand side is 0 i will take both the term to the left then it would be 25x minus 5 par x minus 1 equal to 0 so this is your y equal to 0 and this green color graph is 25x minus 5 par x minus 1 it is intersecting x axis at two places one is 3.835 and second one is our answer which we calculated using lambda w okay 0.00806 this value is coming out so using desmos we can find out one more solution real solution directly but using uh, lambert function we are getting actually 0.00 okay lambert w wolfram also verifies the same result i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share bye bye we'll meet in the next video